we're just filming right now. Um, we're making a desk today, and um, some parts of it might be very loud and obnoxious and annoying because of a air generator. I don't know what it's called, but uh, um, we'll call air it compressor. Air compressor. Yeah. Um. Anyways, let's get on to rest. Okay. Um. So we're going to take this pile of wood and and this, which is pretty fun to walk on because you know. Everybody loves, like geo char, so it's like kind of fun to do it. Um, so what we're gonna do is um, what we're doing right now is we're measuring, and we're going to um use um we're going to cut this and make a desk. Uh, that right there will not be used. All this part won't. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do with these yet. Actually, I don't know. So, um, we're gonna let's go use over to my mom. Okay, we're gonna use these pieces of wood to frame out uh, the bottom and to have a place to. This is gonna be the frame for the bottom where the two by four legs are gonna attach, and then these little tiny pieces of one by uh, one by one and a half are gonna be around the edge to give it a nice finished edge. Okay, see you in a bit. So today we are using a jigsaw. My mom collects thirty jigsaw. <laughs> um, and we're making a desk for school because no desk is like a cow. So, wait, we're going to be using a jigsaw blade when we get back on our hat. Here, back here. Workshop Extra. Yeah, workshop Extra. So, what we've done is, this is the bottom side of the wood. We've marked out a lip on the on the uh, edge, two inches all the way around. We've measured it. It's three foot seven and a half. Uh, for the long board and then right here three quarters is the width of the boards that we're going to use and then that's one foot one and a quarter So I did the math and wrote it down so I don't have to remember All right now I'm We'll be back pants out. Oh dance off dance off important Back to plans B All right, we're going to show you how to use a tape measure So uh, you want to hook your end over here and pull. You don't want to be right in the middle of the board because it makes the line longer. So you measure here one foot, two and a quarter. So some tape measures have the half marks and the quarter marks here. So we want to just put your pencil right where that quarter mark is and then do a little crow's foot like that. Um, this is a, the locking mechanism for it and you never want to let this snap in because it ruins the end here. This is called a speed square. And what's cool about it is it's just 90 degrees. It's not a square as the kids point out, it's a triangle. You put your pencil right here and then you move your speed square right up to it. And that's how you know that it's right on. So we wanna save this piece and this is the piece we wanna go. So we always put an X because sometimes when we're concentrating on using our saw, we forget what side of the line. And the blade has a thickness to it. It's called a, a kerf width a and usually it's an eighth of an inch. But there you go. You know, you try making a desk if so free. You can find us on Friends View. Mm -hmm. So we are mm -hmm. making a desk because this scares like a puppy. <laughs> so these jigsaws are great to use because they're lightweight and you can adjust the speed and control them really easily. So yeah. it's a good first tool to use. So we've marked our board and now it's Emery's going to cut. demonstrate cutting. <laughs> should probably have <gasps> safety glasses in here and protection on So this board's going to go like this right here and what we want to do is we want to screw these in and we only have three quarters of an inch to hold on to right here so we want it to be um, we want to drill 
pilot holes. Pilot holes are just these little eighth inch uh, holes to uh, take away the wood so that it's screw doesn't split the wood. So the quick cheater way to do is the thickness of the board is three quarters of an inch so we can hold it here and then draw a line here. And so we know that we want our holes to be like right here and here. So we're gonna drill holes and then on all these long boards and then and screw it all And this is Lee, our drill. Yes, he's gonna do the drilling. So this is a keyless chuck. This is a uh, plugged in drill and uh, battery drills just, uh, the batteries don't last long enough. And if you don't have them plugged in and charged all the time, then yeah. So I use a drill that's plugged in. All right, so we'll be back in the next shot. Bye. Bye. There's Fran's view and this is Lee and Mommy doing drilling. Just sang that song and there's a hornet. Nope. Uh, mommy, can you come up, please? I'm going to okay. try and swat that hornet. So, okay. this is a pilot uh, hole. We're going to drill it. What you want to do is uh, be as straight up and down as possible and uh, pull the trigger. That's our last drill. All right, and then we're going to change it out to a drill bit and put in some screws. So. And it looks like Lee got that wasp hole. Okay. We gotta cut another board because I must cut this one. Okay, mommy. Yeah. So this is Fran's view after room. And our clip is off for today. And let's see what's happening in the house. No. So no. Lee no. is still chasing that hornet. The hornet's chasing me! Now the hornet. It has to. Filming now. All right, it's Fran's view. Fran's view. And Lee looks she wheeled in his box. Do we want to talk about what we're doing? Hi, we're going to do two by four legs for our desk to make them, uh, we're going to try to make them look a little fancier. There's our frame. There's our rooster in the background. So this represents our frame. This is our two by four. And we're going to set this on here and we're going to draw a line right there to uh, show us that. And then we're gonna measure down uh, 26, but minus three quarter, right? Because that our thickness of our plywood is three quarters. And then I measured over an inch and a half, just so uh, it would just uh, look square, because this is an inch and a half. And then came up to here, so then that way we have plenty of surface area to attach to our frame. And then it makes our, our uh, legs look fancy and they're just really two by fours, and we're gonna sand them uh, and make them look even nicer that way. All right, bye. Hello, this is a video of uh, just the leg before I cut it off. So again, the, where the frame fits, and then I've just a uh, circular saw down to here, and then I'm gonna cut across here, and then we'll have these cool shaped legs that we'll sand down. Okay. Okay, step 364. <laughs> This is an extra step. We're gonna take this piece of uh, one by uh, one by one and a half, and we're gonna cut it uh, so there. We're gonna put it along the edge here, uh, so it makes the edges look nice. You don't have to do it; it's totally extra, and it requires um, a chop saw or a miter box. Um, you can hand do it. You can uh, mark your your 45 degree angles on this side and use a jigsaw to cut it out. Totally will work. Remember, putty heals all wounds. Um, what is it? Paint makes a carpenter what it ain't. <laughs> she ain't. Uh, so, um, yeah. So that's our next step. And then all of our pieces are cut. Um, so this is about an hour and a half later, I think, is because we're at 3 o'clock. Oh, an hour later. Got all, all the pieces cut and sanded. These are the last ones. Then we're going to go assemble it. First one, I'm going to go real close, okay? A little closer, but yeah. Cool. Okay, cut. Okay. I did it. All right, you ready to put glue along this edge? Um, yeah, I'll go add the glue. Glue? so weird. Breakfast. Gorilla like glue. Oh man! Hold on, hold on, I might have to trim it's... this one a little bit. Okay, I have and to trim this one a little bit. And this is mommy and friend. I'm fine! Sweet! 